Hi, I'm Jeff Tidball from Atlas Games, and today I want to show you how to play Hounded. Hounded is played on a 7x7 grid of tiles that you set up just like this. One side is the hunting party, that is the master of hounds and his five hounds, and they're going to chase down the other player who's going to play the fox who tries to last the entire day without getting captured. And the fox always starts out in this corner on the one tile that is face up, which is one of these den tiles. The fox moves three squares on his turn. One of them can be diagonal. So one, two, three, or one, two, three, or one, two, three. The fox's special ability is that he always turns up the tile that he lands on. Now, the fox is trying to find three tiles that will help him win the game. The morning tile, the noon tile, and the night tile. The other way the fox can win is to turn up 43 out of these 49 tiles. Both of those mean that the fox has lasted the entire day and the hunting party is not going to catch him. The first piece in the hunting party is the Master of Hounds. Master of Hounds can move one square in any direction, including diagonally. The Master of Hounds' special ability is if the fox is ever forced to end his turn in any of the eight squares that are around the Master of Hounds, then the fox loses the game and the hunting party wins. The next piece on the hunting party side are the foxhounds, and there are three of those. Those all have the same rules. The foxhounds can move one space in any direction, but if they move straight, they can move two squares. Now the foxhound's special ability is that's the only hunting party piece that can move over the other pieces on his team. So if there's a terrier here, the foxhound could move two spaces straight and go over him. The next hunting party piece is the bulldog. Now the bulldog can move one space, but cannot move diagonally. So the bulldog could go to these four spaces if he was there. The bulldog's special ability is that he can slow down the fox. If the fox ever starts his turn next to the bulldog, even diagonally, then the fox can only move two spaces on that turn. The last hunting party piece is the terrier. The terrier can move one space in any direction, including diagonally, and the terrier has a couple of special abilities. The terrier is the only hunting party piece that turns over the tiles that it lands on. So if he moves here, he turns this up. The terrier also has special abilities that are related to the den tiles and the trap tiles. The terrier isn't required to turn those tiles up, so when you are playing the terrier, you should turn those tiles over and look at them secretly before you show them to the other player, because if it's a den or a trap, you don't have to turn it up. Now the terrier can also move between the den tiles, which is something the fox and terrier can both do. The last thing the terrier can do is bury those tiles when they're face up. The hunting party wins in two ways. One of them is by forcing the fox to end a turn next to the master of hounds. The other way is by making the fox start a turn in a way that he can't move. So like if the fox gets trapped in a corner and he can't get out, the hunting party wins. Once you're set to go, the hunting party always goes first. On their turn, the hunting party moves three of their spaces, any three, but they have to move exactly three. Then the fox moves. Now some of the tiles that you'll turn over will have special abilities on them, like this one does. It says that the fox gets to freeze two hunting party pieces for a turn, so he just tips two of them down, and then on the hunting party's next turn, they don't get to choose those ones as their three to move. Most of the tiles in Hounded are these grass tiles, and they don't have any special ability, although turning them up does help the fox get towards those 43 that could help him win. Other tiles have special abilities on them that activate when they're turned up. 
Some of those tiles have different abilities depending on which player turns them up. So this one here, for example, has different rules depending on whether the terrier or the fox flips it over. All of these special abilities are summarized on the back of the reference card, and you can also check the rule book for complete details. The tile that's the most complicated is the den, so let me tell you about those a little bit. It takes the fox or the terrier one move to go between different dens and go all the way across the board at once. So if the fox has his three moves, he could go one, two, three. When the terrier moves through a den, it takes his one move, and remember that the terrier also has the ability to bury dens and traps that he ends on, so he can, if he wants to, go through and then bury the den that he lands on, which is a strong move for the terrier. One important thing to keep in mind is that pieces are never allowed to move through each other or over each other, except for the foxhounds who have that special ability, and two pieces can never be in the same place at the same time. There's no sharing squares. The fox is allowed to move diagonally between hunting party pieces, though, so if the fox is back in this corner, he can get out by moving diagonally between those two pieces. There's just one other special rule that you should be aware of. If the hunting party ever forms a line of five pieces that are in a straight line, then the fox is allowed to move right through them. So in this case, one, two, three. That's it. Thanks for watching and enjoy hounded.